Head on over to the dollar store and grab a few items for these amazing hacks. Let's get started. Place about one cup of cola product into your toilet bowl. Let it sit for a few minutes, then scrub your toilet. This will remove all rings and grime from your toilet. After scrubbing, flush it and your toilet should be clean. Place a container. I'm using a vinegar container. This is taking up some space in your toilet tank, so you're conserving water with every flush. Grab a packet of Kool-Aid the next time you're at the store, tear the top off, and place it into the water of the toilet tank. Use a scrub brush, scrub it around, and then flush. Kool-Aid has citric acid in it that will help clean the toilet tank, and it has a nice lemon fresh scent. The screws in our toilet sometimes will rust over time. One way to stop this is by grabbing some clear fingernail polish. Place the nail polish over each screw to seal it and protect it from further rusting. Grab some paper towels and some vinegar. Take the vinegar and wet the paper towel with it, fold it up, and place it under the rim of your toilet. Let it sit overnight, then when you remove it in the morning, all of that grime underneath the rim will be much easier to clean off. Grab some baby oil and rub the toilet handle with it. This will make your toilet handle shine bright. Poke a small hole or two into the container. Now, every time you flush your toilet, a little bit of the antibacterial cleaner will be released. It will also help it smell fresh. Start by placing about a tablespoon of baking soda, a packet of Kool-Aid, and a little bit of water. Mix together and shape into a ball. Drop the toilet bomb into the toilet and let it fizz to dissolve. Once you're finished, grab your toilet brush and start cleaning. The citric acid, as well as the baking soda will scrub and clean your toilet bowl. Flushed and it's nice and clean. You're gonna go to your toilet, take off the back of the lid, take some Kool-Aid and dump it in the tank in the back. We're checking for leaks that goes into the toilet bowl. If you see any discoloration, especially lines running down the bowl, you know that it's leaking and it's time to repair it and get a new flapper. I did some research and I found out there was a better germ killer and way to clean my toilet. The magic ingredient is hydrogen peroxide and it needs to be no more than 3%. Put your hydrogen peroxide in a squirt bottle. Hydrogen peroxide contains antimicrobial ingredients and is very biodegradable. Spray the inside of your toilet with the hydrogen peroxide. Make sure to get under the lip of the toilet. Pour about a half cup to one cup into your toilet and let it soak. Pull off the lid of your tank and pour one half to one cup in there as well. Cleaning from top to bottom is usually the best order to clean your toilet. You can use paper towels or if you'd like to be more eco-friendly, you can use an old rag that you'll launder appropriately to disinfect it. Spray the lid of your toilet tank and wipe it down. Next, spray and wipe the tank and be sure to clean the handle well. If you can, remove the toilet seat. We have a fantastic toilet lid that you twist to unlock and they pop right off. If you cannot remove your toilet lid, simply lift it and continue to the next. Use a toilet cleaner brush of your choice and scrub out the bowl. Be sure to scrub well under the lip. Flush your toilet once you are done with this step. Your toilet seat back on. Spray and clean the lid. Spray and clean the bottom of the lid and the hinges. Spray and clean the toilet seat. Clean the bottom of your toilet seat. Spray and wipe the bottom of your toilet. There are a lot of nooks and crannies here, so be sure to get them off. Remove the small cap that hides the screws holding your toilet seat down and clean that area as well. Clean the cap before returning it back into place. Your toilet is now clean. I hope this inspires you to clean your toilet from top to bottom with hydrogen peroxide. Grab some shaving cream from the dollar store. Sometimes odors sneak out from the bottom of our toilets. Take the shaving cream and spray it all along the crease of your toilet. With your rubber glove, spread it on so it covers and seals that whole opening. Let it set for approximately 10 minutes. You've now eliminated odors that were hiding underneath of your toilet between the seal and the toilet tank. We're gonna go to the grout on the floor. Oh, it gets so dirty. All you have to do is take some toilet bowl cleaner, especially the gel formula. Go ahead and place it on the grout and let it sit there for about five minutes. Go ahead and grab you one of those old toothbrushes and you're gonna give it a good scrubbing and you're gonna start seeing the color change. Grab a sponge, wipe it all up and look at the difference. It restored that grout to its original color. How about a shower head that doesn't work correctly or has rust stains on it? What you have is mineral deposits inside the shower head. Just take a baggie, pour some vinegar in there. Take that bag, place it over your shower head, secure it with a clip or a rubber band, and you're gonna let it sit overnight. As you can see on the next day, a lot of that mineral deposits came through and is sitting in the bag. Remove the bag, go ahead and take a sponge, wipe it all off. It gets rid of the rust stains and look at that. That shower head works perfectly.